Hello, my Sagittarius babies. It's Maria, InsightfulAstrology.com. Welcome to August. And before I get started talking to you about what's happening in August, I want to mention my brand new video series. It is a Healing Your Heart series where I am looking at all of the hard aspects that Venus might make in your personal birth chart. And we're going to talk about how to overcome the shadow or difficult patterns that they present in your life when it comes to love and relationship. And part of this exercise will include you guys journaling. So if you want to participate, you have to get a journal and be willing to do some of the journal exercises that I offer you at the end of each video, and it will help you. Okay, this is the Healing Your Heart Challenge. Those of you who've been through a breakup, any heartbreak, uh, I am inviting you to put your heart in a self-induced coma for a little bit of time so that you can rest, heal, and access the unconscious more easily. So I hope you join me. The link is in the description box below. Now let's talk about you guys and August. So, oh, I don't know why I have September. Why do I have September? I have September because I'm writing some September horoscopes. So I had September in my hand, but no, let's focus on August. August 1st. And so on the 8th, guys, there is a new moon in Leo. And this new moon is falling in your ninth house, the higher mind. This connects to you guys naturally. This is the area of your chart where your beliefs, your the meaning of life, you're seeking the meaning of life. And there is a brand new opportunity for you in terms of education, spiritual advancement. Um, and yet it might threaten your routine. It might take you out of your comfort zone just a little bit, but lean into it. I think overall, this is a positive lunation for you, and it may also affect your work life in some way, okay? Perhaps because of these new beliefs, this new belief system that's going on for you, you're realizing that something about the work you do might no longer fit who you are at your core, okay? That could be the uncomfortable situation. Then Venus is going to enter Libra on August 16th. And this is her home sign. And that falls in your 11th house, the social area of your chart. This is friends, groups, organizations. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy to have Venus in your 11th house because the harmony that you will experience with the people that you involve yourself with in your social life, in your community, it's just wonderful. It's a great time to collaborate with a group of people. If you are in any kind of an organization that you'll make a lot of progress. You'll also make a lot of progress in a humanitarian philanthropic endeavor because everyone really wants to work together. Everyone loves this cause, whatever it is that you're supporting during this time. If you are single, then one of your friends might say, hey, I want to set you up with so-and-so. And you should accept the invitation. You should explore it. it. It's a really nice time to allow that when Venus is in your 11th house. It's also a good time to go on a dating app, uh, hire a matchmaker, put immerse yourself in more social arenas so that you can maximize the Venus receptivity energy there of friendship, affinity, and potential romance. A friend of yours might even reveal that he or she has romantic feelings towards you. And most likely you're reciprocating if that's the case. All right. So then moving right along in, in the month, <clears throat> there's a full moon, <coughs> excuse me, in Aquarius. And that full moon happens on August 22nd in your third house of the mind communication. This full moon is gorgeous because it is right next to Jupiter, your ruling planet. Jupiter is the planet of growth and expansion. And this full moon suggests that you're illuminating, you're, you're launching, you're, you're kind of bringing out some type of idea, writing, or communications project in a way that helps you grow. And this situation, this project, whatever it is, it might have started last month at the um, 
at the full moon that occurred on July 23rd in early degree Aquarius in your third house. And then there's an added layer of illumination, awareness, emotional fulfillment now at this full moon, but it's m even more beneficial for you because of the fact that Jupiter is right next to it. You could be asked to teach what you know. You might find that you might be told that your words and your thoughts, something you're doing with communications is really inspiring other people. And so again, whatever was started at the full moon in communications, even though it was a full moon, okay, there's like an illumination, you're revealing, you're being emotionally available in this communications endeavor, you're now benefiting from it at the August 22nd full moon. And you might even profit from it with this full moon. So that's, uh, that's something wonderful to focus on. I, I kind of feel like this ties into work for you because... Uranus is the ruler of your work sector and Uranus is currently moving in your sixth house of work. And on the same day as this full moon, Uranus is making a perfect trine to Mars, the planet of action and energy at the top of your chart, your career sector. So there is some kind of unexpected benefit, unexpected windfall, something good happening as a result of the innovative actions that you're taking in communications connected to your work. So I love it. I really love it for you. Nice way to end the month. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Please be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my fun videos. And if I can help you look deeper at your personal life through a proper consultation, just click the link in the description box below and you and I will be talking very soon. Happy August.